the, the Think Swiss scholarship program is designed to give students in the United States an opportunity to go to Switzerland for three months to get a flavor of how it is to do research or study in Switzerland. I've been interested in the work of Gramatio and Kohler, who had lectured at Columbia while I was an undergraduate, and it really sparked my interest in this kind of robotic fabrication field. It was just a really wonderful opportunity to have the chance to go to Switzerland and to work in this place that I had really dreamt of working for a long time. As a young researcher, when you go to Switzerland, what you, what you will find there is, is a world-class infrastructure both in terms of the country, but also in terms of the research infrastructure, you'll be surprised how well equipped those uh, those institutions are and how how high the quality of the research is there. Switzerland's research landscape is very international as it is. At one of our major schools, 74% uh, of the PhD students are in fact non-Swiss. So it also means while, while you would be exposed to Swiss culture, you'd also be exposed basically to a global situation. Within my second week actually, we went to Amsterdam for a conference with the Task Force for International Cooperation on Holocaust Education, Remembrance and Research. There are 28 countries in attendance and I got to sit in on all the subcommittees. It's not just about the education and about the learning, it is in fact also about the skill of being international. In the 21st century, all the opportunities will be global. It's just the fact that people who are reaching out across their boundaries and their borders, they'll simply be more successful. DTH is really a remarkable place both in terms of the research that's going on there, the facilities, the people that are there, the diversity of the university. I think the, country, uh, the country's innovation system really depends on people coming in, but it also provides those framework conditions for people to thrive. It is both a competitive and a supportive environment. Most people don't realize that, of course, apart from the support structure, you also need competition, and I think that's, that's a given in Switzerland. There's uh, very little red tape. Um, all the students have to do is to send an application to us at the embassy. They need to have a project going on or they need to be setting up a project with a Swiss institution, a Swiss professor to do research in Switzerland and they also need to be currently enrolled at a U.S. university, but that's all.